Hi, everybody. The big takeaways from the quantitative comparison section in this module are these. First, let's start with the good news. Most people say that once practiced, these quantitative comparison questions are the easiest part of the GRE quantitative section. So watch for that. Very soon, I hope you'll, you'll be saying the same thing. So here's your first big takeaway from this section. Let's talk about this awkward response format. Um, it's the first thing you'll notice about these quantitative comparison questions. The directions for this section read, this question consists of two quantities or two values or two mathematical expressions, one in column A and the other in column B. Uh, and you're supposed to compare the two quantities and decide whether column A is greater or column B is greater, or the two quantities are equal to each other, or the relationship cannot be determined from the information given. Now it's that last answer choice that can be strange to many of us. It says the relationship between quantity A and quantity B cannot be determined. To be clear, this means that no one anywhere ever with the given information could determine the relationship between these two quantities. Usually, usually there's not enough information, that's why. But this answer means no answer can be found. Uh, some quantitative comparison questions include additional information about one or both quantities, and that information is usually centered in the middle of the question between quantity A and quantity B. You'll find this center information here. Never ignore that additional information, that centered information. Never ignore that because it's always essential to making the comparison and finding the correct answer. With practice, you'll get used to this awkward response format in these quantitative comparison questions. Second big takeaway from this section, um, as usual, I suggest you follow Kaplan's strategies for solving these quantitative comparison questions. Um, Kaplan's techniques, as before, are very correct, uh, very efficient. They will save you time and energy. So please study those strategies and you want to practice their approach. And the last big takeaway from this section, as you'll see, once again, we'll be using some backdoor strategies to get the right answer as fast and efficiently as possible, notably the replace variables technique for these quantitative comparison questions. Remember this technique from the earlier discrete quantitative section, the other math section uh, that we covered earlier? This technique is guaranteed to solve any math problem you'll encounter on the GRE. Of course, just as before, in exchange for this surefire approach, you must practice because this replace variables technique, it takes a while to learn, uh, especially when you're first starting out. It could take a long time to first uh, to, to learn how to do this correctly, and it can be a little confusing until you've practiced it several times. But remember, if you practice and master this strategy, replace variables, think of the implications, guys. You could actually earn a high score on the GRE math section, perhaps something you never dreamed you could. That would be amazing, right? So it's worth your while, definitely. Again, most people say, once practiced, this uh, quantitative comparison section questions. These are the easiest part of the GRE quantitative section. I sure hope you're saying the same thing very soon. So in summary, the big takeaways from this section, uh, this module, number one, you must practice the odd answer format. And I'll be honest, very quickly, you're gonna memorize those four answers. Quantity A is greater, quantity B is greater, they're equal, or a relationship cannot be determined. Practice that odd form answer format. Number two, uh, definitely follow Kaplan's strategies for solving these quantitative comparisons as before. Uh, and a strategy, a uh, uh, summary uh, uh, question, uh, um, big takeaway number three, sorry, sorry. Once again, you're using that replace variables technique guaranteed to solve any math problem you'll encounter in this section, but it must be practiced. Those are the big takeaways, guys, from this quantitative comparison section in this module. Thank you.